Most people in America are familiar with where their rights begin and end, and yet we have a handful of American citizens that don't acknowledge their right to help people. They prefer to acknowledge their right to damage people, destroy people, and to be destructive in someone's life. You see, a true family member of choice is supposed to be loving and kind. A true family member of origin is supposed to be almost the same. The reality is that many people have attitudes and expectations for other people, but rarely do they have the right, once a person reaches a mature age of adulthood, to do any sort of requirements on anyone. The concept of blackmail has been well known across America, but the concepts of technological abuse is also something relatively new and becoming more and more common, where people abuse the rights of other people's telephones, technology, computers, intellectual property, copywritten work, and literally they ruin America. They also ruin their own lives because once they're caught, they're caught in federal crime. You see, federal crime is what is happening to many people across America. We have mail theft where someone steals someone's mail. I had a situation where I purchased a lock on Amazon and when it came into my mailbox, I found that someone had changed the insert plug, inlet if you will, out so that it would match the actual apartment complex. They had no right to do that and neither did Amazon or the lock company had the right to presume to call ahead of me, which I doubt they did, to ask what the lock should be like because they had no clue to my application. But I found that some maintenance person got into my mailbox, stole my brand new product because the box had looked open. It didn't look like it had come pristine. The life of American citizen belongs to the individual, not to some apartment complex. When I give these examples of what I've been through, I can't possibly tell you everything I've endured at the hands of other people, total strangers who thought they had rights to my life of which they had no rights to be a part of. In life, we have moments of time to speak the truth, and there are medical practitioners that will waste people's time and lie to them in an, what we call a kind of a get meet and greet interview and tell them that they'll be happy to serve them only to tell them later that they won't do it. So they wasted that person's time, they wasted that person's trust, and they literally put that person at a medical risk. The liars of America think they're medical practitioners. They come in all walks of life. They learn about something on the internet, they learn about something from a friend, they learn about something in their own attitudes of how life begins and ends, and they think that they're a physician and specialist, and then what they try to do is create a problem for someone else. They literally will commandeer a body and they will take them someplace without their lawful consent. They will put them in a clinician's situation and they will investigate them thoroughly and they'll never tell them. And the time the person gets back to going to a de natural medical practitioner to try to fix all the shit that these strangers have done to them, meaning three strokes, a heart attack, and now really difficult intestinal problems, that individual won't be found. Or will they? Will they be found dead in their home by their own family who's humiliated by them? You see, in life, people forget who they're related to. They so forget that they think that now that they're in their own way, now that they're doing their own thing, they have the rights to me and you. They don't. The liars of America do things like this. The liars of America lie about their rights to talk about total strangers. They lie about their rights to harm other people. They lie about their rights to call law enforcement who are the dumbest motherfuckers on the planet. No offense to the military. They're a totally different breed. They're a totally different kind, but we also know that in the army, and they'll tell you this if you're an MP, that there's a problem with drugs and addictions and other situations because of the stress of the job. It shows that we're not doing a good job training sometimes, but I can tell you it doesn't take much to become a liar of America. A liar of America wants to steal our rights, steal our birthright, and come here and can barely speak our English. And yet they somehow get employed by companies all across America. Partly because we're raising children to be lazy in what the jobs truly will be available to them as they go through their aging process and their literally retirement process. You see, we're training kids to go to all these types of jobs through our colleges, but those jobs may not exist for them. And that is a problem. We've had several movies in Hollywood talking about how we need to streamline 
our educational processes to go to kind of four or five or maybe six different kind of educational tracks with our young children to help them come out on top. We definitely need more technologists. We definitely need more people with ethics. We definitely need less and less of medical practitioners, lawyers, and other debasing type of and defacing type of professions that don't do anything but collect. In life, we have to become peace mongers. And a peace monger is my intent most of the time. But a raging attitudinal ad asshole is something I can tell you that God has seen from heaven sent. That I am angry about my family of origin. I am angry about the loss of my father. I am angry at the displacement and disparagement of my mother. I am angry at the shitbags in the community that thought I'm their plaything. I am angry at the sexual assault that I received in jail by a sheriff who were too immature to allow me to be allowed to be there without any problems. And openly, I am fucking angry at that female judge in her arrogance. But the bottom line is she practiced malfeasance. She practiced uh, malpractice and openly that's not on me it's on our society it's on the people that employed her and the people that still keep her employed and it's why we have our jails full of black people full of white people that many of which are innocent the liars of America produce pro bono lawyers that don't give a shit whether you get out of jail their whole system is hell spent on making sure everyone who walks through that courtroom ends up in jail and that's the truth by my perspective and my perspective is based on my experience. And my experience was I was made to be a mockery in a system. Now I can be angry and raging about that, but what makes me more and more angry is how people that I cared for, people that I loved, people that I trusted betrayed me and ruined a life. And they'll sit there and go, oh, he's blaming me. No, motherfucker, you intentionally did shit to fuck my records and fuck my property and ruin my possessions and destroy my life. So don't you fucking talk about me.